it's Melissa from the Hug Strap. Um, I just wanted to show you how to use your all-in-one hug strap on a banjo lily. So when you get your hug strap, it's going to come all folded up with two things on it that you're going to need to remove. So the first thing you want to remove is these little rubber washers. You're going to take those off. These are for if you uh, use your hug strap with a strap button configuration. This can go on there to keep your parachute cord from slipping off as you play. So you're just going to put this somewhere safe, maybe in your ukulele case. You won't need them for this configuration. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your headstock strap and you are going to feed it either here in between the tuning pegs or here at the nut. It is up to you. It kind of depends on how you play and whether you find it's in your way. I, for the most part, like to keep it in between the tuning pegs. That's my preference, but either one will work. Um, and what you wanna do, oops, make sure you can see it, um, is you want to feed so a little bit of this headstock strap out of this little square slide and then you're going to feed the other end into, make sure you can see that, into one side of the square slide and then the other. So you're going to have briefly for a second kind of a double loop. Um, so let's pull that through. So let's make sure you can see that. So there should be a double loop right there. And then you're going to pull that nice and tight. Okay, and you can adjust this as you need to. Whether you want to make it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, you can do what you need to do. All right, so now that's secure. You're going to lay your banjo lily down, and then the next thing you have to do, and this goes for the banjo lily configuration as well as the wraparound configuration. This is folded up and meant to be used um, like as a strap button. We do this just to make it easy to, to get it in the packaging. So the first thing you need to do is take this guy, this other little slide, and you need to slide this guy out all the way. All right, and you see this little loop right here, you want to slide it out of that loop. So now you have one nice long piece of fabric. All right, what you want to do, you want to take this guy, the end, and you're going to put it underneath the drum hardware. You need to have drum hardware of some sort that will fit with this, or your banjo lily strap will not work. There are a few brands of banjo lilies that do not have drum hardware at the bottom, and those are not going to work with this type of strap. All right. So you've got it fed through. I like to feed mine in pretty, pretty long so it's near the edge, just so I don't have too much extra slack. And then, let me make sure you can see this. You're here, you're gonna take the end with a little parachute shoot cord loop. You're gonna pull it through. Then you're gonna put it through the other end, again, making like a little, a little loop, which you can see right there, and then you're gonna pull it nice and tight. Now I'm gonna pull that as tight as I can. Now here's the trick. You may find that because your banjo lily is pretty heavy that this slips a little bit. So what I would like you to do in order to make that not happen, because that stinks when your thing starts to slip, is you're going to feed it through one more time. So you can actually now take this guy, it has to go over the, this, ed, this bar of the slide, you're going to put it through and pull it tight again. All right, so now if you do that, it shouldn't slide as much. All right, and you should be ready to go. So now it's on there, should move, and you can play your banjo to your heart's content. All right, thanks for enjoying this video. I will see you again soon in our next installment.